The world of automobiles has changed in the last 10 years. This is partly due to Tesla's daring approach to vehicles and the rise of their successful electric vehicles. In the last few years, new markets have emerged for electric vehicles and experimental automobile companies. New automobile giants have tried to create the lightning that Tesla hit. Unfortunately, many companies have promised to deliver. However, time has judged them as pretenders with nothing or little to show for all their promises. Not even Tesla Tesla is immune from this. A glaring example of its failed promise is the Cybertruck. However, one company looks like it has a real shot of being more than a pretender. One company that stands out with real promise. Canoe. Canoe is an EV startup that is on a mission to bring EVs to everyone. Today, we will be discussing its EV truck, simply called the Canoe Pickup Truck, and why it's genius. Exterior Design After decades of dominance, it appears that the twilight of the internal combustion engine in the automobile industry might finally be upon us. Since the 1910s, the internal combustion engine has shaped the automobile industry as the dominant fuel source. This means that most cars were designed designed to suit combustion engines. However, the quick rise of EVs has brought a breath of fresh air to the automobile industry. Designers in the industry now have a fresh canvas to create something new. In spite of this opportunity to spice things up, some heavyweight players in the industry, like Ford, have chosen to stick to a safe design that brought them success. A quick comparison between the original Ford F-150 and the Ford F-150 reveals very few obvious design changes. Design-wise, the trunk just serves as an extra storage space. The Canoe pickup truck explores the more exciting path of creating a fresh product. Canoe was designed from scratch with the aim of creating only the most efficient truck. Every detail of the truck is essential and adds value. Rather than following the conventional design playbook, the Canoe truck tears up the playbook, creating a truck that is built for the future. This is hardly a surprise. After all, Canoe is among the automobile firms that are pushing the design design boundaries of future vehicles. However, in an interesting twist, the exterior design of the canoe pickup truck bears similarities with the past. A quick trip to 1960 would have a familiar car, the forward control vehicle. Forward control trucks were a trend that had cars like the Jeep forward control achieve success. Although canoe shares some similarities with the forward control vehicles, both vehicles could not be more different. For one, unlike the forward control vehicles that still had to rely on a combustion engine, the canoe pickup truck has no engine. This means that the forward control, although through ingenuity tried to create space for a forward control engine, it had to place the combustion engine under the cabin. The canoe pickup truck is easily able to navigate some of the challenges of the old forward control vehicle because it lacks an engine. The absence of the engine offers a better cabin experience. The exterior design looks masculine. The pickup truck features a horizontal hood that connects to a curved windshield shield from the truck's front end to the roof. This design appears very futuristic. In line with the canoe fashion, the headlight was also designed with poise. The headlights appear in a T-shaped fashion that provides a unique light signature. The body of the EV is a unibody design without any gap between the extended cab and the six-foot bed. The overall exterior design of the canoe pickup truck explores new frontiers for an electric truck. Interior design. Like the exterior design, the canoe pickup truck stands out in the automobile industry. Canoe's pickup truck interior design is genius and definitely ahead of its peers. Leveraging on the absence of an internal combustion engine up front, the Canoe began designing their vehicle from scratch. The objective was to create a multi-purpose pickup truck. The interior of the truck looks minimalist. Right off the bat, it gives an air of containing only the essential items. Without a combustion engine, the EV truck designers were able to manage the extra space they got. The cabin seats are moved further to the truck. The cabin seats appear just behind the car axle. Maximizing the space in the vehicle, there is an option of two additional seats behind the cabin. A common theme in the canoe truck is customizable features. The additional seats are modular. Although the rectangular 
triangularly shaped steering wheel initially seems like a strange choice for such an efficient car, the canoe truck has earned such leeway with its other good work. A bonus is that the rectangular steering wheel adds to the ultra-modern aesthetic of the truck. The driver's seat and passenger seat are nicely tucked inboard from the doors. It eliminates the need for the center console and brings people closer. Like other EVs, there are only a few buttons that remain in the console panel. In the car, there is a long curved windshield that wraps around the roof. The appearance of the interior of the truck expels a chic atmosphere. Canoe is yet to announce particular modularity features. However, the truck will likely feature standard and optional features that you can select depending on your specific tasks. Storage Another strength of the Canoe pickup truck is its storage features. The Canoe truck comes equipped with some never seen before storage features. For instance, the pickup truck bed is 6 feet long and 4 feet wide. You could use the truck to transport bikes on the bed. It has enough room. Impressively, the truck comes with an additional layer of bed underneath the truck that provides an option of an extra 2 feet that would accommodate 4 by 8 feet of plywood. The pullover bed extension also helps with loading and unloading the truck. This truck also offers storage space at both sides of the truck. This side storage makes for a flexible storage area for objects such as a first aid kit and a cooler for refreshments. It also has a lockable laptop storage. Again on space, the truck offers a front cargo storage area where the engine of a typical car would be. The area can hold on to work tools or gym equipment, depending on the needs of the owner. This impressive storage feature of the canoe truck is only possible because of its insanely structured design. Finally, the roof rack exists on top of the truck that can store any additional item. Swiss Army Truck The canoe pickup truck was made with different use cases in mind. The design of the truck is very flexible towards the different needs of different classes of customers. Tony Aquila, the company CEO, stated, Our pickup truck is as strong as the toughest trucks out there and is designed to be exponentially more productive. This truck works for you. We made accessories for people who use trucks. On the job, weekends, adventures, you name it. The truck bed comes with modular dividers that can help break up the bed into smaller units of space. This could mean creating as many as three different pockets of space that will not interfere with each other. You can have a toolbox, a plant, and extra room for a third item group. The truck could also provide workspaces for people. The truck bed can be flipped over as tables that can be handy for job site workers. On both sides of the truck, you can find side storage that can be used as workspaces too. Right in front of the truck, where there would ordinarily be an engine, there is a foldable bench that is yet another workspace. These workplaces are usually close to the multiple power outlets in the truck. This means that the truck has some features for job site usage. Anticipating that sometimes there might be need for light around the truck bed, Canoe's pickup truck is also equipped with lamps around the truck bed and in the frontal stage area of the truck. Canoe has also suggested that the truck will come in different options. There is an optional camper shell that might appeal to campers, travelers, and other people with such needs. The optional camper shell connects over the truck bed. Another option is the extended roof rack option, which is made possible with the optional camper shells. It could even come with rooftop tents. Size The overall length of the truck is 184 inches, 213 inches with the bed extension, at 78 inches wide and 76 inches tall. The roof rack is 48 by 54 inches. The bed depth is 21 inches, where the bed is 64 by 72 inches. The design efficiency of the truck allows the truck to have a smaller frame than other trucks. With its smaller frame, the canoe pickup truck can offer cargo storable space that larger trucks could fail to offer. This creates an edge for the canoe truck, because pickup trucks typically struggle in some terrains. Parking in particular and driving in countries with narrow roads can be difficult for pickup truck lovers. Essentially, you can get the in-vehicle space of a larger pickup truck without struggling in urban terrains as a regular pickup truck. Performance Although Canoe has not officially confirmed the specific performance figures of the Canoe pickup truck, it has stated that it would be above 500 horsepower. The truck comes in two versions, rear-wheel drive or RWD or all-wheel drive, AWD. The major difference is that all-wheel drive is better at retaining controls of the vehicle under various situations. Rear-wheel drive is expected at 300 horsepower and all-wheel drive is expected at 500 horsepower. Canoe reports its all-wheel drive truck has a payload capacity of 1,800 pounds. Since the single-motor van is pecked at 6.3 seconds from 0 
to 60 miles an hour, the dual motor pickup truck should be able to produce faster results. The canoe also reports its battery capacity has a 200 plus mile range from a single charge. Pricing Having noted one of the biggest barriers to EV, Canoe has priced its vehicle sensibly. It is impressive how many useful features Canoe has been able to cram into their EV truck all the while keeping the price affordable. Last year's bargain, the Ford F-150 Lightning that starts at $53,000 for the most basic option and goes as high as $98,000. Other EV trucks cost a significant sum. The Rivian R1T starts at $70,000. The GMC Hummer EV SUT starts at $87,000. And the Lordstown Endurance starts at $65,000. Although there is yet to be announced an official price for the Canoe pickup truck, it is expected that the starting price will be about $35,000. Coming in at that price, the Canoe pickup truck would be a bargain. The Canoe pickup would enter a unique space in the American market. Offering an environmentally friendly, affordable, and flexible vehicle, Canoe would enter an untapped market with lots of opportunities. It can undercut the premium EV trucks such as the Ford F-150 Lightning pickup, the Chevrolet Silverado EV work truck, and other EV trucks. It can also thrive in the compact pickup market against vehicles like the Ford Ranger, Chevrolet Colorado, and Toyota Tacoma. The Canoe pickup truck will likely also compete in the overland vehicle space. The features such as the rooftop place it as a contender with other overland vehicles. Potentially, the Canoe pickup can replace Toyota 4Runners and Jeep Wranglers. This is one of the greatest strengths of the Canoe pickup truck. It has been designed and positioned to operate in different car markets. Powered by electricity, it appeals to EV enthusiasts and green supporters. Its ergonomics appeal to those looking for a compact pickup, and it is suitable for interstate traveling for a small group. The future. The automobile industry is an industry that only a few can enter. The more established companies have an edge in almost everything. An intending entrant to the industry, such as Canoe, will need to rely on novelty, creativity, and even genius to break into the market. Canoe has faced numerous challenges, ranging from labor shortages, supply chain disruptions, and the tightening financial markets. At its first quarter financial press conference, this statement was made. Due to the timing of our announced funding and the 2014 FASB accounting rule as of the date of this announcement, we are reporting that there is substantial doubt about the company's ability to continue as a going concern. However, Canoe had a much better 2022, with an agreement to supply Walmart with 4,500 of its EV van. It also announced that it had submitted an altered version of its pickup truck for testing by the US Army. This might just serve as a lifeline for the company. The jury is out if Canoe can survive the industry. However, the jury is in on the unique and exciting canoe pickup truck. It also remains to be seen when and if the canoe truck will ever arrive at the store. It also remains to be seen if the market advantage that the canoe truck has now will be available when the canoe pickup truck is ever able to be released. If you believe in the canoe pickup truck and what they are doing, you can subscribe with a refundable $100 deposit. If you enjoyed this video, check out our other awesome videos on the channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.